Okay. Hopefully we, I have my game plan on. Still waiting for the telescope observatories to open up. I got my little plan. Here we go. They're opening up. We're going to go to the 11. Let's go to the 11. Let's go get our ephemerides right now. 11 is open. Here comes my coordinates. And get right in there, see if we have time, acquire, cross 11, drop it in, acquire images. Okay, the run has started successfully. I'm going to let that one go. Now I'm going to come back, we're going to look at the G4, because the G4 opens up a little bit later. Let's close this and see our system. This is how it works. We zip zip around. Get coordinates, pop it in. Okay, that's it. It was skipped. It was skipped. The G11 was skipped. The observing run is completed. I'm going to exit out. And you can read it right there. The slew coordinates are below the minimum elevation limits. I can't get it. It's so low. Turning tracking off for safety and I got it right on it so the G11's out. No more great pictures from the G11. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to get back over here. I want to get this G4 going. It's G2. go in. Let's pop it in. What can we get from G2? Okay, I'm going to cover this up because I have to get a password. text copy these coordinates come back to cross 02 okay you see it it's dropping in this priority too long I should just get it in there what do we have luminance I want to go 300, just one, okay, let's go, the run started successfully, see system status, we are trying to get as much as we can, shoot, 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 this is going for Ellen in, it's a clear sky out. I'm going to come back here. I want to be ready for this. I want one clear one. 300. Oh, it's fun running around, running around. Running around for a telescope. Getting your telescope time. Telescope time. Okay, what is this? That's O2. The observing run is closed. We need O4. And O4 needs to come online. And we need to do one, two, uh, I'm going to do one clear. I'm going to do one red. I'm going to do one blue. Come on. Oh, 
2 is gone. It's all on the 04 now. I may just go get the coordinates and drop it in. I know how this goes. There's nobody on it. I need it to open, open, open sesame. I come back here and I refresh. And I refresh. Three thousand in there. Ooh, that's crazy. All I want to do is say open, so we can go. Okay, there's New Mexico. Still says closed daytime for my telescope. <coughs> this is what we go through. So it says close daytime. Okay, we'll come back on when it's back on. Oh, we'll just let it run. Okay, there it is. Let me go get it. We're good to go. Get in there. Get my CK. And just choir. Come on, baby. Okay, check, 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 check. 300, 300, 2222. Got it. Let's go. It is 10.07 p.m. in Texas. System status. This is. This is, that's going to shoot until we can't shoot no more, I get the feeling. Oh, the cooler is at 88%. That's, let's hope it is 86%, 87%. We're going to watch out for the cooler. You know, went right to it. It's starting to slew right to it, so let's just get to Imaging, am I going? Let's see if I can pull that down. I don't know if you can read it. Gives the times there too. I'll pull back and you see the times too. This is filter group one of four. That's right, we're using four filters tonight. We're shooting them. We're shooting it. If we can get it tonight, because I almost get the feeling we're not going to be able to shoot it very much more. So we are turning on the exposure. We are turning on the color. We're going to see if there's. Uh... Try to get some good images. That's really all I want. Just some good images. Telescopes run through a series of pre-planned procedures for focus, changing filters, finding focus stars, guiding on the object. There's a, at least a handful of different things that the, the system is working out before it even takes the first image. So right there, it's recording focusing star. Uh, RA and declination using clear filter for imaging. So they're going to look for things other than what I'm actually shooting 
so that they can get to what we're actually shooting. I'm going to sit back and smoke a cigarette. If you can read it, I don't know if you can read it. Maybe you can open it up in your window. What's nice about this global rentoscope network is that the telescopes know what to do. As long as you do your part, they'll do their part. So none of this figuring and mathematics I have to do. It's all it's doing it on its own program. All I have to do is tell it where to go. Okay, it says start to slew to CK ten X O ten. Autofocus finished. It's recalling some old information. It's heading out. It's 10, 11 p.m. That means it's 9, 11 p.m. in New uh, Mayhill, New Mexico. The cooler is at 90%. Oh, it's good. It's cooling down. There's our first. We're taking our first picture right now at 10, 11. 300 seconds. See that blanket up there? Working, working, working. I hope we get something good tonight. I know that you all are staying on top of um, as much as you can. And all the information that we're having to sift through. Hopefully these telescopic images are helping the discussion. I, I hope they help. I know this video is long, but uh, this video can be the representation of what we're talking about uh, to take these images. Um, you take the images and you set the programs going. It's exposing for 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes. It's one of the longest exposures I've had so far. There's the sky cam. It's clear. I start seeing stars come out. I hope we're getting something good. I think we're going to get something good. I don't know, can you see this? There's the little dipper, I think. Right, so it's the bear. Leo's down here right where it should be. And it's clear out, so let's cross our fingers. We are exposing. tried to uh, slip into the Gras 011, no go. We tried to slip into the Gras 002, no go. I told you, this is the only telescope. So we gotta take, take what we can get. Hopefully we'll get something good tonight. I am taking four different images. I'm taking this one and a color image, all at five, five minute exposures. We're gonna burn through a bunch of points tonight, but hopefully, because we may not get it. This night is here for us to get it. This here night is for us to get it, so I'm shooting it. I hope you all had a good Sunday. I'm just sitting back here talking with no apparent purpose. 
to do a, uh, I'm going to be gone most of the, during the day next week. I don't know if I'm going to get to do any presentations. That's why I took a little video earlier of me working with the P45 image. I'll upload that tomorrow morning. I did not talk during it, so you're not going to like it. But it's just me going through the processing and changing the image like I normally do. And that will be uploaded tomorrow when I'm not in the office here. When I get done with this video of taking these images, I'll start uploading it. And it's going to take a while probably because it's going to be long. Probably what I'm going to do after I get this first image in, I will let it finish. I'll wait for it to show the preview, and then I'll open up the preview here on the screen. I'll show you the preview, and then I'll cut it out, and I'll start uploading. So this video is going to be of the imaging from Sunday, June 7th, July 17th, Sunday, July 17th, 2011. Um... The shutter closed at about 10.15 p.m. on a five-minute exposure. And uh, we'll let it work through. I'll show you the uh, preview. Now, the previews never look good. The actual images always, the fit files always turn out better. So, But I'm going to show you that and then get off and start uploading this video. I'll show you what I was doing tonight. And what we're doing tonight is taking an image four different images of um, Comet Elenin. It's clear tonight in New Mexico, yay! And uh, this is the only telescope that's pointing to Elenin right now, so yay that we're on it and we took the picture and I'm happy. I'm happy for tonight that we have some new images. Let's create a preview image right now. I'll scroll down. Creating preview image. This filter group two of four. So the preview is done. So we're gonna come up here. I don't know if this is our image or somebody else's. This is our image here. But we're gonna have it right in the center. It's got lots of stuff. We're gonna have to work it, but it's right here. I see it. You don't see it. You don't see where I'm pointing. I got the thing over here. This is the preview image. I believe I see it right here. I don't have to work with this image, but this is... I'm okay with it. It looks like i got a galaxy up here or something. we got some stuff around it, so we're going to be able to track it on Google Sky. Looks like a galaxy here. Spiral galaxy. The comet's going to be right here. You can see there's all sorts of dust and stuff. Whatever. Imperfections. But this is the preview. I'm going to, uh, we're still taking pictures. I'm going to cut this off and we're going to get this uploaded. Uh, you all have a good Sunday night. This is Francis from The Perfect Minds. You just got done watching us take our first five minute exposure of Comet Ellen in on Sunday, July 17th, 2011. Talk to you later. Oh, hey, uh, every Wednesday night now from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Freedom Slips. Dot com forward slash revolution radio there is going to be a new tele uh, radio show called a uh, collision course uh, ELE astronomy uh, discussion hosted by me so look for that on revolution radio that is collision course hosted by Francis Walsh of the perfect minds every Wednesday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. have a good night